Story 1 About a week ago, I decided to try to astral project after hearing about an experience one of my close friends had told me and a group of my other friends. He claimed to meet an astral entity, and I wanted to see if he had any validity or not. I tried meditation before with moderate success, so I knew a thing like this was possible. So, after meditating for a little bit, I decided to lay in my bed and go through the process. During the vibrational stage, instead of hearing the silent ringing, I began to hear from silent murmurs to piercing screams. These sounds would cut in and out, almost as if my body was a radio trying to tune into a different station. Anyway, while all of this was scary, I continued. I imagined a hand pushing me down in my bed to see if any of this was working. Then, I felt a giant hand the size of my chest pushing me down. I was terrified and amazed. I then saw a blue flicker of light, even though my eyes were closed, like a match going out. I then saw these two giant black doors with two dark entities holding the knobs, holding out their hands to me. Surrounding the door and area was nothing more than complete darkness. The entities then slowly open the doors and reveal a darkness even more darker than the area around it. Then, as if I was flying, I began to approach the door very fast. I then heard the words, Welcome to our realm, before I snapped myself out of it. Terror, pure terror and interest filled my body after the experience. Story 2 I'm looking for some help identifying an astral being that I met last night. I completely understand that a name might not be possible. However, I am hoping to at least identify the type of being. To begin with, I am a practitioner of angelic magic and tarot, and I have some but little experience with astral projection. Last night, I had no intentions at first to project. However, shortly after falling asleep, I woke to find myself in the astral within my own room. In my ears, I could hear an indecipherable, almost harmonic voice, as if I was being spoken to. Although I had no idea what this voice was saying, it didn't seem threatening in the least. I quickly realised that I was in the astral, and went ahead and exited my body to stand within my room. As soon as I projected, I was greeted by a silvery, bluish being. Reminded me of a Star Wars Force ghost, about the size of an adult human, but with no distinguishable features. The being told me that it meant no harm, but said little else. It just seemed to study me for several minutes. I asked the being if it had died there in the past, even before my house was built, and it said, No, I have not died. Based on this response, I believe that rules out this entity being a ghost. I also asked if it could tell me of heaven, hell, or purgatory, and the being specifically told me, I can tell you none of these places, as I am not allowed. Based on this response, I concluded that either this entity is forbidden from these places, or it does know, but is forbidden to speak of them to mortals. His presence seems sincere, in a neutral type of way. He was not overwhelmingly holy, like that of many angelic beings, nor did I feel any sense of dread, ruling out most evil beings. I did not banish, and after a short time he simply left, and I returned to my body to finish my sleep for the night. Story 3 So to start this off, I've had lucid dreams, and astral project. Sometimes, when I come back to myself, I really have to question what it was. Also, I've astral projected probably around five to ten times. Usually, this only lasts about a minute. So here we go. The first time I encountered this late teenage looking girl was in my room. My room felt really stretched. I looked over, and she was hanging out on a bed with another girl her age. I asked her for her name. She gave it to me, and I remember it still but forgot her friend's name. Her friend didn't stand out the same. Next time I asked her project, I called out her name from my room. 
Because when I astral project, it's usually dark and creepy. And I felt I could trust her, I guess. She responded. So I walked into this room of my apartment. There isn't a room in my reality. And it was very confusing because she did not seem the same and was talking way different. I decided it wasn't actually her when I woke up. And maybe it was more of a lucid dream because I believe there's a fine line and they overlap when you're new to all of this. So I went on a hiatus where I couldn't astral project for about two months. It sucked. But either way, earlier today I got out of my body and things were way less dim than normal. I think because I waited on the vibrations too intense instead of trying to separate. Right when I felt vibrations, I walk outside and there's a family on the couch in my living room. I asked the father. He was this bald guy, kind of blunt person. Do you know where she is? Only I used her name. And he pointed. And I looked over. And she was sleeping on the chair or couch. And I was like, I didn't really want to wake her. But then he turned around and said, you need to stop trying to astral project. He said it really rudely. Then the girl was awake. And I asked her if we could talk somewhere. So we left my apartment. I asked her if she was the same person I saw in my room. And she said yes. I told her I was astral projecting. And she laughed about what I called it. I asked her why I'm lasting so much longer than normal. Insert a joke here, if you will. And she said something, but I don't remember what. So we talked for a minute. And she had food. It was bananas and celery, not sure why. Then I went to ask if she watches me. And she said, I've been watching you since Chair 5. Chair 5 is a restaurant I went to with friends a couple of weeks back. Never been there before, other than that time. I was taken aback. And then I asked her why, for a while, I couldn't astral project. And she went to answer. I was sent back to my body. Like most astral projections, when I get back to my body, I go into a vibration stage and can pull myself out again. So I did. And I walked out, but the father and mother people from the astral projection were still on the couch. I tried to talk to the mother, but then that only lasted for about ten seconds. And then I woke up. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy my narration, please go ahead and hit the like button. And please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my uploads. I have been on a bit of a hiatus for a few months as I've been researching and writing for my latest project, The Paranormal Podcast Deliverus. There will be more episodes coming out soon and I'll be uploading them to this channel as well. Don't forget to check out that podcast. I'll leave a link in the video description below. Thanks again for watching.